Hello and welcome back. Today we will be continuing our coverage of patch 1.5, the open beta, as well as continuing our tutorial series, and we are going to be talking about the top five society tech winners. Now initially we are going to do winners and losers, but it's kind of the case that the winners are what they are, and the losers are kind of just everything else. Uh, I, as a kind of an opening discussion, it's important to emphasize and remind everyone, I think, how we evaluate techs is not on the basis of how powerful is this tech raw in the abstract, uh, but instead it is going to be how likely am I to research this tech uh, as soon as I can and shift work is a great example because having economies of scale of 51 is incredibly useful uh, but it's not a necessarily a tech if you don't have anything that's over level 31 the shift work tech is never going to be one you prioritize but in the abstract once you hit the really late game it's going to be really useful but it's not necessarily a priority tech and since you get all techs eventually and the opportunity cost of one tech versus another is not in whether or not I'm going to get it, it's in fact how quickly am I going to get it, we have to evaluate on this basis of how likely am I going to research when I uh, can get it initially. And the second thing we need to talk about is we're talking about techs that are winners um, in that they have gotten a lot better, not that they are the best techs. And so we're not get doing the top five techs, we're doing the top five um, most improved technologies relative to where they were before in 1.4. And so, you know, some of the techs on this list aren't going to be really the ones you necessarily want to rush a lot that are uh, in particular still the best rushes are not going to be on this list we're just talking about what's improved as a resu result of the changes in 1.5 there will be chapters down below so if you wanted to skip ahead to a specific uh, technology or just go to the summary to kind of get the hard and fast version of it you can feel free to do so so in fifth place we have the romanticism technology which i think was uh went from being a tech that you would actively never research and would prefer it didn't get researched in terms of spread because you don't want your auto cube building arts academy to now it is specifically a tech that i think you research first on shing and i think no one else uh you would need to have a country that doesn't start with it which is already not a lot of countries and have an absolutely enormous uh population and i think the reason you rush it is because you absolutely positively want to get off traditional as quickly as possible and with Ching specifically if we swap over to them here um, we will be able to take a look and see that uh, in particular they don't have a uh, landowner ownership that actually opposes agrarianism making agrarianism a great way out of traditionalism also very importantly traditionalism is way worse in 1.5 because it gives minus to market access price impact and so getting off of this as quickly as possible is a much bigger deal and so I think it becomes much more worth it to do a law pass just to get off it as quickly as possible because you get onto agrarianism which does not have this penalty even though eventually you want to move to laissez-faire however on top of this with great shing specifically an enormous portion of your reinvestment will be actually from subsistence rice patties which are modified by the agrarianism positive modifier um you know for uh, aristocrats. Now, again, this is very, very narrow. I think it's just on Great Shing that you want to research romanticism as your absolute first technology, uh, but it is a niche case now, and I think that, uh, you know, it's greatly improved. And just to make clear why market access price impact is bad without going too into it, aka Mappy, what it will do is it will affect local prices in a way that is always negative for you. And so if you have a very, very huge positive balance, if you're producing way more of the good it will decrease the price which is not something you want locally because you're selling a ton of it so it makes all the industry selling it less profitable conversely if you're consuming extra of a good it will make it more expensive which of course is not what you want because you're consuming a lot of it and it's making the input goods less expensive so it always eats into the profitability of industries and so mappy is very very bad and it is going to be an underlying theme in kind of evaluating most of these changes in terms of talking about stuff. But the romanticism tech for Xing, I think, is a first research and it, you know, is a huge winner in the sense that I think you would actively avoid researching it before. Uh, I'm like basically never researching it. And now with Great Xing specifically, I think it's actually the first tech you research. Um, if you guys can think of another country that it'd be worth going on, maybe Japan. I could see something like that. Um, you know, 
know, feel free to put it in the comments, but I think it's mainly going to be a great Shing thing, um, especially because there's another technology, which we'll discuss in a little bit, uh, that I think is a must research for just about everybody. Next up in fourth place, we have steel frame buildings as well as, you know, the entire line, including modern sewage, way, way up if you don't start with urban planning, and then also down here in elevators. And uh, the big winner on the back of this is this uh, plus five or plus five construction sector mass max level is now a much, much stronger modifier. Now, steel frame buildings was already one of the best techs in the game. And so this might make it the best uh, tier three tech in the entire game in terms of how much you want to prioritize it. But the reason why this plus five construction sector max level is so strong is because of Mappy. In addition to, uh, you know, the urban centers, generally speaking, getting buffed and being stronger and getting covered markets being good for them, um, you know, we do have this plus five construction sector max level. And the reason why it is so good is because you will often only have a few states that are really good for building the entire, um, you know, loop for the construction goods uh, in terms of producing uh, steel or uh, iron frame buildings. Uh, so that is, they have to be able to produce coal, iron, steel, wood, uh, to a lesser extent lead, and sulfur, and have access to all of this, all in the same province, which will make your construction cheaper. And so when you are building an iron frame building, it is going to locally consume all of these things in its entire production chain, keeping in mind that steel goes into the tools, right? The steel definitely goes in the steel frame buildings. Coal goes into both the iron production and, you know, with atmospheric engine plus, and also the production of the steel. And so you would prefer to put your construction in a place where you have all of this stuff going on. That way you get access to the cheaper goods and you drive up locally uh, the price of these goods so that they can be more profitable. So if we look at balance here, uh, we will see we have a huge positive balance of steel. Not that ideal, uh, but we don't have that big a positive balance of coal, which is good because that means both our input prices are on uh, coal specifically are cheaper, but also our coal is getting paid more. And so you want to have all of these things locally. And what this entire line of technology, including steel frame buildings does, in addition to steel frame building already being a really strong tech, is allows you to build more construction sectors in your best provinces. And so instead of a, a province like Transvaal, instead of, you know, getting capped at 10 or 15 construction sector max level, we're getting capped at 25. And so this will allow you to push your best states more. And so I think that, you know, very often you will, it's more, going to be more pronounced with modern sewage and elevators, uh, but steel frame buildings uh, kind of really is also a really big standout. Uh, and I think you will want to be researching it um, earlier and it's going to be mainly for this max construct or plus five construction sector max level, which again, is going to give you access to cheaper construction and more profitable industries on top of that. On top of, you know, steel frame buildings also just generally being insane and steel frame buildings, you know, become even better as a PM because you want to have more local economies. And so jumping on a better PM as opposed to just building more construction becomes even more preferable than before. And so really, really huge winner in fourth place, steel frame building. In third place, and I really wasn't sure where to rank this, we have all of the corporations technologies, starting with corporate charters, which gives plus one max companies, then joint stock companies, which gives plus one max number of companies, and urbanization per urban center. This is uh, a strong modifier, especially uh, for you know decreasing unemployment. I think that it falls off a little bit because when your urban centers are at equilibrium and unemployment anyways, um, it's not going to do anything or at their at equilibrium level employment. However, when you get these initially, they are quite strong because your urban centers are generally fully employed. And so the first few of these will be really good. Um, and then also down into investment banks, again, same thing, companies uh, and then corporate governance, which companies and urbanization per level, and then finally macroeconomics, which gives max number of companies, and it overlaps with another one we're going to talk about, which is all of the MAPI technologies. And together, these just give you access to five companies. And um, there's not too much to talk about without going on to a great deal on companies, but roughly speaking, the main attraction of companies is that they are going to give you a throughput bonus on all the industries they're associated with and a construction bonus. Companies are very, very, very strong, especially, you know, getting uh, companies for the basic construction loop. Uh, so your first, you know, one, two, three companies, very strong 
currently you can exploit uh, the game by just cycling through whatever company you're currently constructing. So you see we're constructing gold. So we want to have the gold slot in. Uh, but if we wanted to, you know, construct, uh, let's say, a bunch of uh, food industries instead, we could establish this just to get the company construction bonus. I imagine they introduced some sort of balance in the game to prevent you from doing this. Otherwise, this will be what's meta, um, just swapping them around. But, you know, access to construction and throughput, very strong. And so I didn't know where to put these because these are new technologies except for uh, macroeconomics. Uh, and so, you know, we put them in here and uh, I think that these technologies are very, very strong. And these technologies are a big part of why uh, most of the other techs are just losers now uh, because in many situations you will want to go for these technologies when available uh, because an, a company is just so strong uh, in terms of uh, you know what you're doing and perhaps I'm overvaluing them slightly but a lot of these are are, are very strong and are worthy of a research slot um, as soon as you can do it without incurring a malice and so you know uh, in third place we have all of the texts that give companies because they're all relatively uh, interchangeable with a couple exceptions in that um, you know uh, tier 5 uh, there's really not a single good tier 5 tech uh, other than you know uh, macroeconomics well I guess there's a couple in paved roads and antibiotics but for the most part the tech's not that good in society in tier 5 um, but there we have it 5 or in third place we are going to have uh, the company technologies in second place we have pharmaceuticals, uh, which I almost put in first place. Um, I do think it's quite close because I think you would basically never research pharmaceuticals before. And now I think you don't research it uh, at very high level priority, but uh, the institution of uh, health insurance of any kind is quite a bit stronger now uh, for three reasons. One, they overall nerfed uh, economies. Uh, and so there's overall depression of SOL, um, which makes you know stuff that raises SOL or uh, decreases mortality, which is negatively affected by low SO, uh, SOL, um, it makes it everything better. Secondly, uh, they uh, killed pop growth to some extent, or they greatly reduced pop growth, which again helps uh, if you can decrease mortality to make sure you're gaining pops, and this is a strong thing. And third, uh, they both introduced um, or are in the process of introducing, it's just a new fresh mechanic, pollution, uh, which gives you a negative modifiers that are helped to be offset by, uh, you know, health uh, institutions. And they also, across the board, buff the health institutions. So we see pollution impact, which is going to give minus SOL, migration attraction, and mortality. And so all of these things combined makes these institutions way better. Now, pollution's not going to be a consideration, uh, really, by the time you can research pharmaceuticals it's not going to be a big deal in your game, right? And we are basing our rankings or kind of evaluating power level in terms of how likely am I to research as soon as I can. However, I do think you will get pharmaceuticals a little bit earlier than normal and not just to go into quinine, which was kind of how you research pharmaceuticals before. Now, let's kind of just take a look at some of the laws so we can see how they have buffed it. Again, this is tentative, but you will see that now it gives flat SOL, which helps to offset, you know, the overall depressed SOL you get from uh, lower economies and will greatly increase pop growth even more than they did before. And so the effects of this institution, usually this one used to be one of the last institutions you'd put in. Now I think you kind of are a little bit more bullish. They are also all different now. So charity hospitals gives, uh, you know, half a tick of standard of living, 10% minus a uh, pollution effects and a minus 3% mortality. This one gives plus one standard of living, a little bit higher, uh, you know, 10% uh, reduced pollution and uh, 2.2 mortality per wealth. And then here we have uh, plus one standard of living minus 15 uh, pollution effects reduction. So the best for reducing the effects of pollution is public health and minus 4% mortality. And I think all this together um, is making pharmaceuticals, even though it's not like a standout tech in tier two, you know, your standout techs are still going to be dialectics, uh, you know, egalitarianism, the new company tech and modern sewage and central archives, even though it's not a standout 
standout tech in the labor movement, I think it has greatly improved and went from a basically never researched type of tech to a tech you will research reasonably often, especially if you want to, uh, if you already have a lot of laws passed. So for example, someone who starts off with fairly good laws, uh, like France, you actually might prioritize this early because you can you want to put in the institution as quickly as you can, uh, assuming you don't need a bunch of law passes. And so if you start off with good laws like France does, this might be one that you are researching and prioritizing really early. So pharmaceuticals came out a pretty big winner out of patch 1.5's changes. Finally, in first place, we have Zeppelins and Stock Exchange and the entire line that gives the plus five or 10 market access price impact. Now we explained this modifier earlier, but just to quickly reiterate, your market access price impact or MAPI will pull prices in a direction that is always negative to you uh, in each province. So if you have a bunch of sell orders, meaning you are producing the good there, it will reduce the price. And when you reduce the price on the sell orders, so let's find an example here. So for example, if we reduce the price on tools, we will have a smaller weekly balance because your weekly balance is what you're selling minus your expenses. And so a reduced price will make it less profitable. Similarly, MAPI will also uh, increase, or the lack of MAPI rather, it will also increase the price of your inputs if you have an excess of buy orders in the thing, which will also eat at your weekly balance because your balance is your outputs minus your inputs. And so uh, this modifier um, makes it, or MAPI makes it so that you are closer to your market price, which will always be favorable for you, the player. And so this is a very strong modifier, uh, especially in the early game, which kind of brings us to, uh, we have to talk about about both Zeppelins and Stock Exchange and Macroeconomics, because these are the three that give them. Uh, I think that there is uh, pretty much the only exception I can think of, of a country that doesn't start with Stock Exchange, that needs to research Stock Exchange first, is Great Shing, uh, because you, Great Shing, as we discussed, I think you were research romanticism first. There's plus 10% market access price impact on top of you know the trade route bureaucracy cost uh, already is just um, such a big deal that I think you need to research it. And I don't think this is really the case that you need to research it because it's absolutely positively the best um, tech to get as quickly as possible. But because um, you know you will not guaranteed get a tech spread on stock exchange. If you get a tech spread on talk, stock exchange. Like game start you don't have to research it first but you will always get a tech spread on cotton gin and lathe which are the countries that don't start with stock exchange um these are texts that you want to research early and since you will always get these through and you want to get these through before atmospheric engine mechanical tools and railways um, because you will be gaining progress anyways through tech spread i think you actively research stock exchange with everyone except for shing as far as i can tell um there might be a few exceptions here and there um which would be interesting you know most of the later European guys start with stock exchange anyways, um, but I think that this is going to be an absolute prioritization. You know, and it also unlocks some other stuff. It unlocks free trade. It, I believe it unlocks your ability to roll market liberals, which is not inconsequential, but this market access price impact is going to be extraordinarily strong. Now, to a lesser extent, I think uh, international trade, unlocking laissez-faire, laissez-faire is better, but almost everyone starts with international trade, so not really needing to cover that. But then scrolling down uh, to Zeppelins, Zeppelins used to basically do nothing because the airship mooring po po post, uh, while not doing literal nothing, was extraordinarily underwhelming as a uh, technology that took time to research. It doesn't lead into anything and used to basically just let it nat spread and you'd get it when you'd get it. And now actively researching it makes a lot of sense. And then on top of that, we have macroeconomics, which is now um, easily the strongest tier five tech for society, um, where, you know, previously tier five has been really weak for society. Antibiotics is also buffed because health institutions are more important and paved roads is also buffed, you know, as a result of, uh, you know, uh, actually it doesn't give plus five construction sectors, so never mind, paved roads is kind of where it's at anyways. Uh, land trade capacity is nice, but kind of scrolling down to uh, macroeconomics, it now gives a company and 5% market access price impact, bringing you up to a maximum possible cap of 95% uh, MAPI. And so this is going to be, uh, you know, uh, one you will want to research if you have access to like the tier five. Now, 
I think the tier five, uh, both production tech and military tech in general is stronger than the society tech. And this is a little bit of a tangent regarding values. So it might not be the case that you are like rushing down macroeconomics, but this entire branch has benefited so much, especially from the fact that, you know, a tech that you would basically never actively research to be a very early tier four research, Zeppelins, and then a tech that you would, um, you know, sometimes research, but overall was never prioritization becoming the absolute first tech you research on almost everyone that doesn't start with it um i think really puts this in like the number one place um you know and it was a bit weird to rank this against uh you know pharmaceuticals which we discussed previously because pharmaceuticals benefited so much and i think that you would research um stock exchange way more often normally but um this entire like line of technologies is greatly improved and is going to be one that moving forward you are going to want to invest in earlier as a result of mappy being such a strong and important uh, modifier. So to summarize, in fifth place we have Romanticism, which I think is incredibly narrow. I think it's just about Great Shing, but for Great Shing, I think this is the first tech you research if it's not not spreading to you, uh, because the swap onto agrarianism specifically uh, can be very, very strong for them for a couple of reasons. One, the biggest one is you are getting rid of the nappy, mappy penalty of traditionalism, but also the increased aristocrats contribution efficiency is particularly strong on enormous pop countries uh, for China, uh, or in general because it also applies to subsistence farms and China specifically has a landowners that do not oppose agrarianism which is unlike the vanilla landowners and so it is much easier to pass agrarianism specifically for them and so romanticism we have in fifth place in fourth place we have the line uh, for steel frame buildings with I guess an emphasis on steel frame buildings because now it will probably be the best tech in the game in the tier three slot um, in specifically that what we're looking at that has improved greatly is the max construction sector max level uh, which is going to allow you to build more construction sectors in areas that are going to build steel particularly well that have both coal and iron so you build coal and iron which feeds into the steel and then you have a bunch of steel sitting around and or iron if it's just coal and iron and this plus construction sector max level is going to help you out a lot by letting you have much more efficiently uh, spent construction which would turn will allow you to have more construction um, also on this front just having a more efficient pm also allows you to condense your construction centers into a smaller proportion of your states uh, allowing you to put them in the better states which this overall is going to help you out a lot in the fourth slot in the third slot it's not too much to write home about but we have all the company line which is going to include investment bank co corporate charters joint stock companies investment banks corporate governance and macroeconomics which is actually in two categories uh, but specifically Specifically, other than the loud car outside, uh, if they just give you an extra max company and minus urbanization per urban center, which the urbanization per urban center is going to be pretty strong early on, and then I think it falls off. Um, in uh, second place, we have. Uh, pharmaceuticals, which kind of went from a never actively researching thing to being one that's hugely important, and I think you will actually research this fairly aggressively, fairly often on any sort of, um, you know, country that is uh, already got pretty good laws in place. I think I used France as an example, and now that I think about it, France might start out with pharmaceuticals, but I think that this tech line is going to be particularly important because um, they nerfed SOL in general, uh, these now, and they buffed all of the, the laws which now give SOL and minus effects of pollution. And so, uh, you know, they introduced pollution, uh, they decreased um, or they increased mortality slash decreased pop growth in general. And so now pharmaceuticals are going to be much more important to, to generate population over the course of the game. And so you might be researching it a lot, although still probably not very high on the overall tech tier list. It is a huge winner. And finally, in first place, we have all the technologies that give you MAPI, specifically focusing on stock exchange which went from uh you know a tech that you would occasionally research for certain strategies generally for forcing a market liberal type of thing to now i think just about everyone except for shing who does not start with stock exchange this is the first tech you research unless it is natural spreading to you and so this is really big because of the 10 percent market access price impact but it also allows you to roll market liberals and also gives you minus trade bu bureaucracy cross and you can get free trade there's a lot of good upside to stock exchange and then finally down here in kind of the same line of tech which is now giving market access price impact we had the previously basically useless zeppelins now it wasn't entirely Entirely useless. You could get to see, you know, uh, the Zeppelins zipping around the map. 
I guess. Uh, but it was basically the worst attack in the game, or one of the worst attacks in the game, and now it is extraordinarily strong. And also macroeconomics, which as we discussed, gives you not only a company, but also the last little bit of market access price impact, allowing you to globalize a, more, a lot more. Um, you know, before you get, uh, uh, what is it, stock exchange, you really want to everything to be local, and even to a lesser extent, Zeppelins and macroeconomics. Uh, but then once you have these, it allows you to globally supply stuff, like consume dyes from, you know, India uh, in your textile mills much more efficiently and this sort of thing. And so it'll improve that a lot. And so these ones are very, very key. And so this was the list of the top five. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe. If you think I missed uh, a technology that you think improved a lot, feel free to let me know. And other than that, have a good day.